get a notebook have i have one dedicated to book notes but you can use your journal whatever it is the first thing that i always recommend is have a specific question that you're trying to answer so if it's a non-fiction book like at the moment i'm reading the lean startup by eric reese uh, my question to, to to answer when reading that book is how can i find more effective uh, techniques to create a lean approach for my company which is book talk today which is a magazine uh, so that is the question that i'm trying to answer and that does two things it means when i read the book it means that i'm taking uh, effective notes and i'm extracting the information based on that one question and it means i'm more likely to finish the book because i'm focused while reading and i, I don't get distracted because okay. I, I have a question that i'm trying to answer so the, th the, se the second thing i do is i tend to write down a chapter summary uh, after I finish yeah. the chapter. So I take notes within the book. So I highlight uh, whether it's quotes uh, and I highlight within the book. So I'm taking notes and I'm also highlighting, taking notes, these kind of things. Uh, but mm -hmm. then I don't actually take notes while reading. I wait till the end of the chapter and I write down a yeah. summary in my own words. I wait till the end of the chapter and then use I use mm -hmm. a technique called active recall, which is essentially writing down the things that you've learned from that chapter in your own words because anytime you write something down in your own words you're learning from it because you're you're basically mm -hmm. absorbing that information as a filter and then writing it down in your own words rather than just copying and pasting because you don't learn as much when you copy and paste you when you yeah. reframe it in your own way and then write it down you learn more from doing so so mm -hmm. yeah i definitely agree with waiting till the end of the chapter and then writing it down so then i do that for the whole book and then what i do is at the end of the book, once I'm finished, that's really where the beginning of the process is. Like, I think reading the book is one thing, but what you do with it is another thing. Uh, yeah, I think a lot, a lot of people get to finishing the book and they're like, okay, I'm done. And they go on to the next one. And yeah. that's, that's, that's when the work starts. Like, I actually think when you finish the book is when the process begins, not just reading the book. So what I do is I write down five to 10 principles uh, that I learned from the book that I want to implement. Now, these can be things like uh, further points of research. It could be a book that is mentioned in the book that you're currently reading that you want to go and read for further reading, or it could be an article, it could be an individual, it could be a technique, it could be a practice, it could be anything, but it's written down as a principle that you can go and implement uh, and find an effective way to put into practice once you finish the book. So I usually keep it between five and 10 because that way you're selective and you're not writing down 30 to 40. Uh, and then what I what I do is then I, at the end of that week, so I actually do it every Sunday evening, so I'm actually gonna do it at the end of today, is I basically write up these notes onto my computer, put aside one hour or two hours every single week to review your notes from the previous yeah. week or to review things that you're looking to improve on. Because I used to do it in the past where I used to read a book, finish a book and then forget about it like three to four weeks down the line. And I wasn't getting that much benefit for the things that I was reading. And this practice really helped me. Uh, and it's taken me a while to develop it. And I've I've found so many people reach out to me after they've done, after I've recommended this and it's really helped them. So uh, yeah. basically I've, cr I've created a YouTube video that you can actually watch and it goes through this process.